Hello, everyone. Uh, I just woke up, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to do this Pokemon thing anyway. I was thinking of doing it early this morning, uh, but I didn't because... I've heard the game has leaked, like, in its entirety, and I really don't want spoilers, so <laughs> I decided I would, uh, you know, not do the stream just in case someone got a funny idea. Uh, so instead, we're going to do this here, and I'm just going to post it for you later. <laughs> so if you, my voice is probably not the best, but, you know, whatever. I gotta do this so I don't get spoiled to whatever's in it, because the instant I go on YouTube or Twitter, it will be everywhere. So, let's see. Oh, uh, I hope this isn't the Ed Sheeran song. <laughs> It might be. It is. It's Ed Sheeran. Okay, well. Oh, yawned. Hi, Pachirisu. Okay, nothing crazy going on yet. <laughs> no, Quaxley died. Small if. That <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> the sandwich scenes are always so funny looking. There's Cloth. He's eating the special juice. Whatever they are. <laughs> Energy ball. I don't know what that is. But there's Cloth? Or what's... I always forget the middle form's name. <laughs> it's Roly Coley... Carcoal. It was Carcoal. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's in the game. <laughs> that Growlithe almost looks shiny. Huh. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, it's the... Oh, okay, we're seeing it. Whoa, Jesus, Don Fan. <laughs> Gimme goal. I saw that too, by the way. I know I didn't post a video about it, but it's, you know... I love it, actually. <laughs> it's one of my favorite new Pokemon so far. <laughs> oh, wow. Dragapult's back. Hmm. Ooh, that's the like, middle of the whatever, right? The middle of the region that's just like spooky land. <laughs> okay, well. They showed us Dawn Fan. This was leaked a while ago, so I had an idea about it. Obviously, I had no idea what they looked like. But, uh. That's pretty epic. <laughs> I guess you would do Dawn Fan first because it's got both versions of it. Anyway, let's go to the website and see if they talk about it before I uh, spill the beans. 
All right, so I looked. They don't have Don Fan at all. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go back to the trailer and just look really quick. And then I'll talk about leaks slightly, but... Hey, they did post a bunch of other stuff, um, which is interesting. Updates and online play. So basically they're saying uh, a day one update will allow you to do online play. If you don't update it, then you can't go online, which I guess is fine because <laughs> if you don't have the internet to do a day one update, you're not going to do online play anyway. So <laughs> not bad. Uh, take on special terror raid battles. You can participate in terror raid battle events by receiving the latest Poke Portal data. <laughs> okay. A steady stream of these events is planned to take place, so it's just like Sword and Shield with the uh, max raid events. Which is cool, because those were always fun. Um, special Pikachu is the early purchase bonus. Yeah. I mean, that's also pretty cool, but, you know, nothing too crazy. Explore the Paldea region with your friends and family in multiplayer. Join up to three other trainers in Scarlet and Violet's multiplayer and explore Paldea with your friends and family. Counter undiscovered Pokemon, new landscapes and towns, and experience an adventure that's full of surprises and discoveries. Okay. And then Pokemon trainers from all over the world in Battle Stadium. <laughs> in the Battle Stadium, you can enjoy online battles with trainers from around the world. Casual battles, okay, where you compete in a fun, easy-going way without worrying too much about wins or losses. Try taking on these battles with Pokemon companions you brought along your adventures across the Paldea region. Ranked battles will be available starting December 2022. Okay. I guess they're gonna... Huh. <laughs> so you got a couple weeks to prepare, I guess. Um, online competitions are slated to release sometime in spring 2023. Please wait for future announcements and learn more about when these features will launch. Okay. I mean, it's kind of weird that the, like, online ranked battles aren't coming till like, two weeks after the game starts, but I, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because <laughs> you still got casual battles to, you know, have fun and test the new Pokemon. And there's Pokemon Showdown, which will just let you test more seriously anyway, so. Whatever. Uh... Get in-game Rotom phone cases with play records from past Pokemon games. <laughs> oh, Pokemon Yellow! I think. I mean, that might just be Red and Blue. Oh, no, that's Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Oh, of course, because it's on the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is... The next one in the list is probably... Sword and Shield, right? <laughs> because... Oh, it's Ball Guy. Yeah, okay, it's Sword and Shield. Uh, and then this one must be Pokemon Home or Pokemon Go, maybe? And then Legends Arceus. Oh, it, is it BDSP? It's kind of a weird one. Oh, it's supposed to look like the Poketch. Okay, never mind. If you have records from Legends Arceus, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Sword Shield, Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee, you'll be able to see Road of Phone Cases in Scarlet and Violet with a design inspired by the gameplay records from. <laughs> okay. That's kind of fun. You can receive these random phone cases by talking to a woman in front of the stairs leading to Mesagoza's central plaza. It takes approximately two hours of play to reach the point where this feature is available. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> I do think it's funny how Pokemon is still on this kind of stuff. Um, like, getting the sound settings in Sword and Shield, you had to make it to, like, the, the first town. <laughs> like, you couldn't just access them right away. I don't know, it's weird, but you know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> to bake them into the world like that? I don't know, it's fun. Use Pokemon Home and enjoy Pokemon Scarlet and Violet even more. Is it going to have Home right away this time? That would be nice. Battle Stadium statistics for Scarlet and Violet will soon be viewable in the mobile device version of Pokemon Home. Okay. From the app, you'll be able to view information about trainer rankings, frequently used Pokemon, online competitions, and more. You'll also be able to see what moves, abilities, and health items are being used in battles the most. That's interesting. This update to Pokemon Home's battle data feature, slated for early 2023, will let you check out handy battle data and enjoy Pokemon battles in these titles even more. I think they do something similar with Sword and Shield right now, but I've never used it. <laughs> Compatibility between Scarlet and Violet and Pokemon Home is slated for Spring 2023. Okay. After you linked either title to Pokemon Home, you'll be able to transfer Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet to Pokemon Home and bring select Pokemon from past games to the Paldea region. Okay. So is that saying the... Uh, the Hisuian forms are going to be transfer Pokemon? 
I wonder. Because <laughs> that's a pretty big deal. Pokemon you're able to transfer from each game via home are limited to Pokemon that can appear in these games. Okay, so, no. <laughs> the, the Hisuian forms are in these games somehow. Uh, okay. I mean, that's cool. I kind of wish Pokemon Home was right away, but I can sort of see why, because they want you to actually play the game. <laughs> and, like, it's actually pretty fun to complete the Pokedex. It, it was fun to complete the Pokedex in Sword and Shield, so... I'm hoping it'll be the same here. Uh, terror Raid Battle Events. Yeah. Catch Eevee in Terror Raid Battles during the Eevee Spotlight. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's the 24th of the 20... Three days? Okay. That's uh, Usually they... they la no, they only did last weekend's on Sword and Shield, didn't they? During this event, Eevee will be appearing more frequently. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, on Switch Online required for battling with trainers online. I mean, it makes sense, but... I don't remember if it was like that in Sword and Shield or not. I honestly don't. Black Crystal Terra Raid Battle. That's what the title of it is, but it's not... I don't know. Take on Terra Raid Battles together. In a Terra Raid Battle, you'll join a team of four to try to defeat powerful Terra Pokemon. Yeah, okay, we know this. Oh, sorry. Like I said, I just woke up. <laughs> Catch an unrivaled Charizard in Black Crystal Terra Raid Battles. Okay, well, we knew Charizard would be in the game, but hey. During your adventures in the Paldea region, you might find Black Crystals that look different than the other ones you ordinarily approach to take on Terra Raid Battles. The Pokemon you face in these Black Terra Raid Crystals are much stronger than those that appear at Terra Raid Crystals, and defeating them can net your rewards even more exciting than usual. Charizard with the mightiest Mark. Oh, so Marks are back. Some people were worried Marks weren't back. I'm pretty sure one of the leakers specifically said Marks weren't back, so I guess they just lied. Sometimes they do that. I gotta blow my nose. Give me one second. Alright, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy Marks are back. Marks are fun. First December, what, first to fourth, then 15th to 18th. So two weekends in December. I mean, I think I should probably be finished the game by then, so I should be able to pick that up. Charizard cannot normally be encountered in Paldea. Oh, okay. And the Charizard appearing during this event has Dragon as its terror type, making it a formidable foe and a powerful ally. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, that's kind of cool. So that's what the Dragon-type crown looks like? Sure. <laughs> the Mightiest Mark. Charizard the Unrivaled. That's pretty cool. Same markability of moves, so it probably can't be shiny. <laughs> yeah, okay. Nothing crazy here. I like when they do stuff like that. It's good. And then I want to look at Gimme Ghoul's page, because I've never actually looked at it. <laughs> I love the little guy when he's just, like, walking around with a coin on his back. The chest form is interesting, but, like, I don't like it quite as much. Um... So, you know, it's kind of sad that you can only catch him in the chest form, but <laughs> it's fine. The coin chest Pokemon, yeah. Pure ghost. Hmm. Okay. With rattled. <laughs> sure. It hides inside a treasure chest and moves slowly. These gimme ghoul hide inside sturdy treasure chests. Well, this provides them with a solid defense. The treasure chest's weight causes gimme ghoul to move slowly, making travel difficult. It is not uncommon for chest form Gimme Ghoul to be mistaken for an antique and taken home or sold to an antique store. Uh, controls people and Pokemon, making them collect coins. <laughs> okay. When Gimme Ghoul senses a person or Pokemon draw near, it ambushes them. It then uses ghost energy to control its target, forcing them to collect coins. Because it often hides in warehouses, starting a sentence with because? Come on. Shop corners and other places, people and Pokemon don't frequent, it tends to keep persistent control of those it does manage to encounter. Spooky. <laughs> Find me my coins! <laughs> Alright. Seems like Gimme Ghoul has a second form called Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul. This kind of Gimme Ghoul doesn't hide in a treasure chest. It's small, carries a single coin on its back, and can be found hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches, it seems not a single trainer in Paldea has ever managed to catch one. <laughs> Surprisingly, roaming form Gimme Ghoul has been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go! Yeah. 
<laughs> I love the art style clash. It's so funny between Professor Willow and Professor Jacques. <laughs> well, I don't know. I like him. I wish I could have the roaming form forever, but I don't think that's how it works. Who knows, though? <laughs> I'm also kind of surprised it's pure ghost. I kind of thought it'd be like ghost steel or, you know, something like that. Oh, well. What can you do? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, unfortunately, they did not put Don Fan in here. So I gotta go to the trailer and then, like, pause a bunch. So let me go to the proper scene here. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. Is this one, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, and let's go look at Don Fan. Okay, he's like, there's legends of an ancient Don Fan. And then here's that ancient Don Fan that's like a mammoth. Sort of. We see, like, part of it. <laughs> And there's a cool future of Dawn Fan. Ew, I don't like its face. Why did you do that to Dawn Fan? Okay. Um, so, if you don't want to talk about leaks at all, this is your time to step off. I don't want to talk about the data mine. I'm only talking about the leaks we had in, like, the summer that were, like, <laughs> vague and speculative. Anyway, this is, this is Paradox Forms. So, kind of cool to see them actually in the game. Sort of. We barely saw them, but... <laughs> um, I am I guess they're going to be part of What's-His-Face's story. The cooking guy. Which kind of makes sense. Um, I like this design for Ancient Dawn Fan way more than Future Dawn Fan, by the way. <laughs> which is why I'm a Scarlet guy through and through <laughs> um, I guess they just look a little bit more like Dawn Fan than I was expecting I don't know when they were described I was like whoa they're gonna be so different <laughs> but really they just look like Dawn Fan with a few you know alterations um, the future one is definitely more different than the past one but it also has a weird face so <laughs> I don't know um, I'm really interested to see what the hell Jigglypuff's gonna look like. That's the one that I want to know the most, because it's so interesting that it's, like, the only one that's, like, a mid-stage of a Pokemon, while all the other ones are the final stage. It's an interesting choice, is all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's it. So, like, subscribe. I will see you later. Bye-bye.